okay so today we'll talk about the three things uh, aws green grass how to build your own drone 3d 3d print your drone design and 3d print your drone and then how to use aws recap and drone and aws green grass to aerial uh, photograph the photograph of a site and build a 3d uh, model so let's go uh, agenda so let's uh, talk about aws green grass first so aws green grass uh, is basically for edge computing so people who know iot uh, iot needs uh, iot is all about connecting your sensors so when your sensors are generating a lot of data and some critical decision has to be taken at the uh, site where at the point where the data is generated so if you are, you are if you are sending the data to aws cloud and taking the decision by the time the data comes back probably the event would have lapsed for example the tesla car if you are going to tesla and there is an accident going to happen you have to take the decision at the point of uh, where the incidence is happening so you can't send the data to cloud and take a decision and come back whether to apply the brake or not so aws green grass is a solution for that it's called edge computing so what aws green grass gives you is it gives you an sdk you take that sdk and uh, um, flash it onto your uh, hardware like raspberry pi or something like that and then you can take all the cloud the decisions that you are, you are supposed to make on uh, aws cloud you can actually do it on your local on your local uh, raspberry pi or uh, any other hardware so basically what it does is you have a lot of sensors here and this is our the typical iot world you have sensors you send the data to the cloud and do then the cloud they you store the data and then you take uh, based on the data that's coming in you actually take some actions like say uh, you might uh, send an email sms alert or something like that but the, that is actually uh, not very useful in most of the critical situations so where what we need to do is we need to do process the data at the source where the uh, data is generated we need to process that so as part of that we have uh, uh, aws green grass so what are the uh, value of uh, processing uh, the data at source loss of physics loss of physics says that uh, anything so that has to travel it takes some time so to reduce the latency uh, from sending the data from the source to the cloud you need to use something that can process the data at the right at the source so that is the loss of physics because of loss of physics we need to uh, ensure that the data process the data as soon as possible the second law is, is says that loss of economics uh, a, in a typical aws iot scenario what happens is uh, the your sensors are generating data at every second or every micro like every 500 milliseconds and all the data might not be useful to you you might want to process only certain bits of critical information so if you are able to actually process only the critical information and send only the important information to the cloud it actually saves you money so loss of economics dictate that you need to actually have uh, process only the critical the information that is required in a typical say if you take an a uh, boeing 747 which can fly for, if it flies for 4 hours it actually generates 1 terabytes of information and all those 1 terabytes of information you don't have to actually pump in into the uh, your database you might need only the critical information that is required so you can actually process at the source and then only store the local uh, things and finally the laws of the land laws of the land says there might be privacy issue or some government regulations uh, might be there so based on that it might be required that the data has to be within that uh, source it doesn't have to go out or something like that so based on loss of the land you might have to do uh, process the data at the source so all this requirement is actually kind of satisfied by uh, aws green grass so if you see, see the structure here earlier you saw that there was sensors sensors are sending the data to the cloud and uh, process of the data is to be processed the cloud and the action is to be happen, ha happening at the cloud now what happens is you have uh, the sensors the sensors will send the data to the gateway which is right at the source and the gateway has aws green grass net and aws green grass will process that data and can take the action there itself right at the source it doesn't have to actually go go to the cloud this that's not a necessary condition that uh, to for aws green grass to work so what are the benefits of using aws green grass like i said response to local events quickly there's some event happening and you can actually take a very quick action for for the events that are happening at the uh, on site then you can operate offline in the one of the uh, critical uh, one of the uh, condition one of the scenarios where iot's are typically deployed is 
you are not always guaranteed that they are connected to the internet and then your connection can go offline or something like that so you need to operate offline so aws greengrass uh, sdk provides you that option so all your data is actually managed by aws greengrass sdk on your local gateway and whenever the connection is available it will actually uh, send that data back to the cloud so it will do that does the syncing and all those things for you simplified uh, device programming so aws greengrass will say, use the same uh, programming that we are all aware of aws programming apis so you can use the same apis and you don't have to worry about syncing and uh, you don't have to ever worry whether the internet is there or not or all those things and one of one more other good, good advantage of aws greengrass is you can actually have python lambda functions running right on your local source you don't have to go to aws to run your lambda functions you can actually run it right on your uh, local gateway and last reduce the cost of iot packaging how to reduce, reduce the cost like i said like a boeing 747 flying for 4 hours generates 1 terabyte of the data if you're sending 1 terabyte of data to cloud it cost you money instead of that uh, if you can actually send only the critical information you can reduce the cost of uh, your iot applications so let's we covered uh, aws greengrass now let's make uh, go to uh, how to make a drone okay so in this figure uh, i'm actually i built a drone uh, my own custom drone i designed i actually work for autodesk so i took uh, autodesk fusion 360 i designed my own custom drone using a fusion 360 and then i used a hardware called pixoc pixoc is a open source uh, autopilot uh, hardware for drones is you have complete control over that and uh, you can uh, connect all kinds of sensors gps uh, your ultrasound sensors and all those things and this is a schematic diagram for how to connect all those things i'll show in a video how actually it builds up so what i did was first i went to uh, autodesk fusion 360 i designed a drone and then i 3d printed that then i had uh, ordered this hardware uh, assembled the hardware and then why what i did was i mounted a camera onto the drone and then i took uh, the raspberry pi and flashed it at aws green grass so all the information so this has lot of sensors connected it has gps constantly being fed and uh, the battery information a lot of these almost has 10 different kinds of sensors constantly feeding every uh, 250 milliseconds there is some kind of data is being pushed so all this data i can actually store in your greengrass and uh, finally when you have a, uh, some kind of a connection you can push it back to your uh, aws cloud for later uh, usage so Uh, this is a video of your iphone uh, uh, iphone maps application apple apple maps application if you have seen this uh, there is an option if you are, if you go search any us region you can actually 3d uh, uh, you will get a 3d maps so you can actually have a 3d aerial view of any of the region so this is a new york region that i'm showing here so you can see that uh, uh, we, uh, there is a 3d uh, map so how you can actually build this using your own drone that's what i'm actually going to show you here So you can build your own drone, then use Autodesk Recap uh, so, uh, software to actually create, stitch the photos, and make this kind of uh, aerial 3D mapping. So there's a small video, just a two-minute video. this is the 3d printing of the all the parts this is the various testing that i have been doing it this is a exocopter that i built so assemble the all the parts test it and i was able to also demo it as part of the maker fair 
that happened in Singapore. So this actually shows uh, how the drone was built. Uh, the next part will be mostly covering how you can use recap, reality capture uh, to actually stitch all the photos to generate 3D, uh, 3D models. Yeah, so this ends the video. So, what you saw actually was uh, how we actually designed the uh, drone, and then how did we 3D print, and then how did we mounted a uh, basically I mounted an Android phone uh, to the drone and then can program the drone to fly over certain area and it can actually take take uh, photos at certain intervals uh, store the data and I'll send all this information uh, to store it in AWS Greengrass and whenever net is available it will actually send it to Autodesk v, uh, Reality Capture and Autodesk Reality Capture will uh, do the hard work of sticking the photos and generating with the 3D model so you can actually at the end result will be uh, having a 3d model of the site that you actually scanned using your drone so apple was using hel helicopters they actually uh, flew helicopter over the entire uh, new york region to actually generate that entire uh, uh, 3d map now the technology is so cheap this uh, drones will be costing you around 800 dollars and uh, other aws uh, green grass it's actually free for up to three devices three sensors for one year and then you have to use the reality capture, or does reality capture to stitch the photos. So, that actually ends the demo. Open for questions. Thank you.